Hey everybody, it's me. Um, some people have been asking about having a video of my work area, what I do, and whatnot. So here's a little something. Um, basically, this is my work area. Uh, this is our computer, our main computer that we use to uh, build our mud log. Um, as you can see here, you know, every depth we uh, go get a sample. We uh, describe it, plot it on here, um, import information from GeoImage, which gives us uh, gas information and as far as how fast we drill, which is our rate, rate of penetration. Uh, other screen we use, this is our GeoImage. This is where we can monitor what's going on right now. Having problems with the filament, it's reading negative and then it jumps up and it's just being a pain in the ass, so. They love you, so they might love life. This is our pace on computer, it gives us all the information as far as uh, bit depth, ROP, uh, begin rate of penetration, how fast they're rotating the, the drill string, pressure, strokes per minute, etc., etc. Here is our microscope. It's pretty high tech, as you can see. Yeah. There we go. Since we don't have really expensive equipment, there's no need for it. Some places have screens that you place a sample underneath and it pops up on a monitor like that uh, for viewing, but no need really. Most important part of mud lover's life coffee. Um, lots of coffee. Tools. Here's where we wash off the samples, get the sifter, take it out to the shakers, get our sample, dunk it in here, rinse it off. Here's our uh, heating lamp, dries out the sample for uh, better viewing. Uh, we also have refrigerator, freezer, and microwave. It's pretty nice. Uh, my helmet. Yay, shit happens. Kind of dorky, I know, but you know, you gotta have some some kind of a uh, fun shit to do, I guess. Um, it's freezing cold in here, so we have three different heaters, all of which are necessary. <laughs> uh, during downtime like this, like right now, we're waiting for them to start drilling. They just finished drilling on air, switched over to mud. Uh, so I'm just waiting around, I'm going to be watching some movies, reading some books, keeping an eye on all the equipment as I do so. Here's our rock samples. Uh, basically, we lay them out from each sample that we take just so we can see the changes in lithology overall look. Because if you go one to the other, you really don't see much of a difference. But right here, you can see the gradation from, you know, sandstone to sillstone. And later on, it's going to get more into shale. Uh, so we package them all up, go through, which can be two or three boxes, so we're pretty much halfway down with the well, which is nice, but it always slows down when they drill in mud, so. Uh, don't know what else to really tell you, but that's pretty much what I do. Uh, I might do another video tomorrow of, you know, being out and about on the, on the rig, but we'll see. Have a good one, bye.